Hi, hello, hi everyone, <laughs> how's it going, how are things, hi hi Ichi, how's it going, how's your day, how's your week been, uh, I'm a little tired, I'm not sure um, how long I'm gonna, doing good, had a big dinner and what did you do, <laughs> just woke up, I really relate to that to be honest, honestly recently um, just real quick, switch over here, oops, oops, Okay, there we go. Alrighty. Hi! Hello! <laughs> How's it going? What was it, um... Yeah, no, honestly, Itchy, I relate to that, because, uh, I feel like for the last few weeks, I've had days where, um, I've basically just, like... How to describe it? It's like... I, I do a lot in the morning, a little bit in the afternoon, and then around 3 or 4 o'clock, my body's just like, you need to take a nap. <laughs> And then my body just crashes. Uh, I go on my bed, I crash like a few hours, and then I wake up, and then I stay up till like one o'clock, and then like I go back to sleep, and the cycle repeats. <laughs> um, I've been trying not to take too many naps recently, just because um, I have to fix my sleep schedule, because uh, I have to get ready for uh, potential work um, next week. Gotta wake up at like. Six o'clock in the morning, I think. I've been waking up at like nine or ten in the morning recently, so gotta gotta make the adjustment. Oh man, same. Right, right. You're um, I believe you're still in classes, uh, right, Ichiban? How's classes been treating you? Um, I imagine those early morning classes are not <laughs> fun to wake up for. <laughs> I grinded cyberpunk till 1 in the morning last night. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, yeah. Speaking of cyberpunk, I, I am very much looking forward to uh, the the thing we're going to do relating to cyberpunk. <laughs> very excited for that. What was it? Uh, yeah, no. What was it? Um, what was it? Yeah, no. It's, I know. Um, What was it? Uh, has... I, I don't know if I've asked this already but, um, has Cyberpunk- uh, I, I skipped all my classes to speak like a cool kid! <laughs> yes, yes. The way I look at it is... <laughs> yes! Yes, so excited! Yes! Yes! No, very excited. I don't know how, how much you want to talk about it. I don't know if you want to keep it, um, uh, under wraps or whatnot. But, um, I, I, I am very excited for it. Um, I was actually thinking of streaming my- I was thinking of streaming my- DM prep for that. I don't know if it's a good idea. Well, <laughs> it would be one of those things where I would specifically have to avoid that stream if I wanted to. I I, I can't see what's gonna happen. I I got I keep it a surprise, you know. <laughs> um, what was it? Uh, but no, I, I'm really excited. Honestly, I, I ever since we followed my character, I'm just like, ooh, what else? What else can I do to get ready? <laughs> I I don't know what else I what I could do to get ready. Honestly, I just thought, okay, I have my character, I have my concept. I think that's about it. I think. Um, but yeah, no, that, it's super exciting. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, I, I cannot wait for, um, I don't even know what I'm gonna name. I don't even think I found a name for my character yet, to be honest. Um, what would I name him? I'll have to think of a name. Hmm. I don't think I want to go with my, my name, Mizu. Yeah, I love the character and the art. I'm so hyped. Yes, yes. <laughs> I gotta do more art of, um, uh, Whoever my character is going to be, the, the news reporter character. <laughs> I, I, I gotta figure out um, a little bit more of his uh, name and stuff like that. But uh, I know, like, once we figure out everyone else's characters, I would love to draw a fan art of everybody. <laughs> it's it's my tradition when I do <laughs> these types of DD type um, or uh, like RPG type things. I like to draw people's characters. It's a lot of fun. It gives me an excuse to draw, so. <laughs> yes. Speaking of drawing, I really have to advertise my commissions page. I um, I haven't been doing a very good job at that. 
I've been like saying like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna make a whole spiel about it, but I haven't really prepared a spiel for myself yet. <laughs> I'm basically open for commissions now. Um, I believe, um, actually I can do this, I guess. Um, I, I can do this. Oh, that'd be so cool. Look at that. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, yes, oh, that, that means a lot to me. It's, um, I've come a long way with my art, honestly. I feel like my art has done the most transformation, I would say. Like, um, this past three years, I'd say. Ever since I went to, when I went to the art college, like, to get my bachelor's, I noticed my art, not even necessarily because of the classes I was taking. I feel like a lot of the classes are just an excuse to get you to practice, but I feel like the practice I've been putting into my art definitely feel like I have something. I can safely and confidently call myself a professional illustrator. <laughs> yes. Um, but was it a, yeah, no, it'd be nice to, uh, I gotta, I gotta figure out that. That is something, that is on my many to-do list of things to do. Um, <laughs> get, get, do more art so that way I can do commissions better and so that way I can find an art job, hopefully. <laughs> yes. Um, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Um, but yeah, no, uh, what was it, uh, yeah, no, looking forward to d and I, I can't come any sooner, the RPG cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah, no, and, um, it's, it's nice to hear that you're immersing yourself in the cyberpunk video gaming to really get a feel for it. <laughs> it's really funny because, um, what was it, uh, I know that, uh, uh, the very gritty is usually not my cup of tea. But I do really enjoy the edge that Cyberpunk seems to offer. I'm very looking forward to playing my character <laughs> in, in, in such a punk cyber world. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, no, um, I'm trying to think what else is new with me. Um, I just, yeah, I've just been going, I think I said this last time, but I've been going with the flow and stuff like that. Um, yeah, when I'm up at 1 in the morning, I can tell myself it's because I'm prepping. Right, right. It's the same thing if I stream and it's like 1 o'clock in the morning. It's like, oh, it's, it's for streaming. <laughs> I I'm doing something productive. <laughs> Honestly, though, streaming does really make me feel a lot better playing video games because I feel like I'm actually doing something worth a little bit more worth my time than just gaming. <laughs> I know like this last week, I kind of just... I guess for lack of better words, veg out and just like treat myself to some gaming because this is like the first week in a while where I'm just like, I have no obligations. I can kind of just kick back, relax, enjoy myself, enjoy a few view games I've been really mean to get through. Like I'm playing a lot of Elden Ring. And honestly, I was debating on playing Elden Ring um, tonight, but um, what was it? Uh, I, I ended up, um, uh, what was it? Uh, I ended up, um, I ended up basically, um, what's the word? Mm, my brain. Also, it's, I didn't took a, I didn't took a nap a day today, and that it's probably showing <laughs> right now. Oh, how are you liking Elden Ring? Oh, that's what I was saying. Yeah, no, I've been playing Elden Ring. Um, that's been a lot of fun. I was halfway debating on playing Elden Ring tonight, and I feel like that would have also been really fun. Um, but we'll see. I, I just, I, I want to play Tinderborn. And I'm not sure how it's gonna go because it's a pretty chill, methodical game. I'm probably gonna be a little bit more talking today than I normally do, just because it's a pretty slow burn of a game. But um, it's been, it's Elden Ring has been really fun. Um, I finally made it to um, a, the, the, I guess you could call it the equivalent to Lordran from the Dark Souls series. It's like the, the 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 golden capital or whatever, and like it's like. It's so cool. It's like a giant de decrepit city full of nice shiny gold things and then also a bunch of like weird uh, decrepit um, townspeople. It's really fun. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I've become the master of magics. I got my intelligence up to like 70, I think, and now I can cast the most powerful magics in the game. <laughs> I've been casting essentially what is the equivalent, the Eldering equivalent to a Kamehameha wave, and I've been using that non-stop against my most recent foes, and that's been very fun. <laughs> I never actually kind of, I never went for a full magic build in the past Dark Souls games. I've always eventually went around to going for, um, like, weapon builds, like mostly dex or strength essentially. Um, I dabble in like magic because of course I have to do some magic, 
but um, what was it? Uh, I never really went full magic. I would consider the build I'm using right now a full magic build. So um, I think that's uh, I I'm very happy. Mizu has become properly corrupted by the magics that be. <laughs> Oh cool! I think I had a faith build when I played. Oh, faith build! Like honestly, I was really tempted to go, like, respect myself for faith because um, I saw some of the faith spells. Like they looked really sick, especially like the fire incantations and stuff like that. I um, I'm a huge fan of fire, and I feel like with sorcery, I do kind of limit myself in the fire department, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I it, it matches the Mizu theme I was going for with him and it's uh it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> yes. Mm, what was it? Uh, yeah, no. What was it? Oh also you've been playing Elden Ring at Bond? I think you did mention that, but your name is Water. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> what was it? Uh I, I like to play <laughs> Shouldn't Water be spooky to you? Well it's um I like to call myself a man of extremes. <laughs> Wait, no fire. Right. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, um, it's, um, I, I have to write out my lore eventually, like, soon. Like, I have to, like, actually write down, but, uh, I like to think of myself as, like, I'm a master of magics, so no, no, no magic, um, scares me for the most part. Yeah, I bought Elden Ring a while ago. Kind of like it. My first soul game is pretty fun. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> What was it, uh, yeah, no, um, I would say the best way to describe me, in a nutshell, would be, I'm a man of extremes. <laughs> I, I'm either all in or all, all not. And I feel like uh, the best way I represent that is my love of polar opposites. My, 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 um, like, uh, like, I know how me and Anzu joke that, uh, what was it, uh, I'm a very wholesome being, but then I'm also very drawn to very edgy stuff. <laughs> And, uh, what was it, uh, also, I guess you could say I call myself, I feel like my personality definitely is more, if we were to chop it up to like, oh, wait, what element is your personality? Um, I would def, my, I would definitely be more towards water, I feel like. I, I'm a very chill, even-tempered guy, but, uh, what was it, uh, I also will admit that, um, I can also become very energetic very quickly. <laughs> The duality of Mizu. <laughs> yes, that, that's how I would describe it. Um, what, what, what forth and whatnot. <laughs> what was it? Uh, also, I guess, fun fact about, uh, I guess, my name. Um, I actually was going to use the name Mizu for a character in my graphic novel I eventually want to make. But um, I decided that... I decided that I wanted to use the name Mizu myself. Because said Mizu! feels like a good name for me as a VTuber. <laughs> it, it just matches me very well. It um, has that Japanese influence, so because I love One Piece, basically. <laughs> and um, it also, I feel like wa I also only drink water. So I f <laughs> if you want an explanation to why I chose Mizu, that, that is a good chunk of the reason why. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, no, what was it? Uh, hmm. I would say probably the element I would vibe with if I were like, thinking about like, if I, my, my brain, come on brain, you can think of words. <laughs> um, yeah, no, um, if we're thinking of me as a bender from like the Avatar Last Airbender series, um, I would definitely, I would probably be a cross between air, water, and fire, honestly. I feel like, when I think of Mizu, I think of him as like, his first magic he learned was definitely air magic. But then he also dabbles in water and fire. But I feel like he knows earth magic the least. I feel like earth magic's a little too rigid for him. Mizu likes to be free. <laughs> Mizu likes to be a freeborn spirit. So um, I feel like that would um, that would represent me pretty well. <laughs> um, but speaking of Mizu, speaking of water, um, I think it'd be a good time for us to switch over to the game of today. <laughs> Have you heard of Timberborn? The, the game of which you become beaver, and then you build uh, big, big dams and stuff like that. <laughs> it's very fun. It's very fun. Ah! <laughs> Hello! Objection! objection! I love Tibber. Oh, you've played it! Also, thank you, Aniki, for the objection! Thank, thank, thank you to objecting um, and um, throwing Phoenix words at me. <laughs> Means a lot to me. How's it going, Aniki? How are things? 
And um, oh, you've heard of Timberborn, Itchy? Nice, nice. Well, if you're familiar with Timberborn, you have a lot to look forward. I have also played Timberborn. Oh, nice, nice. Well, <laughs> I, I hope that um, l let me just give a fair warning. I'm gonna probably ah. <laughs> there, there's a second objection right on cue. <laughs> Um, I'll give you guys a fair warning. I am probably going to be playing pretty, pretty suboptimal. That is, I call the theme of like most of my streams, especially when I go into more strategy oriented games. I, I do my best, but, um, don't expect, um, don't expect a, a clean playthrough for me. <laughs> Let me, um, get this started real quick. I'm just gonna do that. Um, I haven't, pl I haven't played since the full version release. The full version release? Huh, I, I thought it was still in early access when I bought it. Um, oops, well that's the music. That might be loud. Oops, oops, oops. One second. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, let me just uh, turn off the, turn off that. And oh, you guys can't hear that anyways. Okay, that's good. It, it just it just destroyed my eardrums, <laughs> not not your guys's. Which which that's that's the hope that I don't destroy your guys's eardrums. Um, I am going to just teleport real quick to the uh, the game room. I know they add a lot of new stuff. Oh, that's exciting! Wow. <laughs> what was it? I've saw gameplay of it before. Let me just teleport real quick. Oh, I forgot to fix the in instant transmission. Oh well, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Well, I, I am here now. A little bit of a smoother transition, <laughs> but uh, welcome. You beavers are gonna die. They they are gonna die, a and they have died multiple times. I was a big on like naming beavers. <laughs> twin audio. Oh, twin audio. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Um. Do I sound any different? Um. Do I sound better? I think an audio thing happened and, um, <laughs> um, what was it? Uh, fixed. You sound good now. Okay. Okay. Huh. That was weird. I had this option. I should probably turn off this option. Actually, we are going to just hide this for future for future reference. The doubled audio was like, if you were in the shadow, <laughs> I guess that was darker trying to, um, unearth himself while I was trying to play a very peaceful, a beaver game. <laughs> you, you never know when, when Darker is going to try and um, take over my mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> Anyhow, let me real quick load into... So, I, um... So, I've been playing a game recently. Um, I... I oops. Uh-oh. Uh, it's this one. I've been playing... As you can see, I've been playing a few test rounds before I decide to play on stream. And, um, what was it, uh... I currently, um, I have made and fully developed a district, and um, I was thinking for today, you guys can help keep me company as I try and develop a second district and stuff like that. Um, let me just load up the game and show you what I mean real quick. <laughs> also, speaking of Shadow Realm, I really want to play Yu-Gi-Oh again on stream. I have to see if Greg's available for that. That's a lot of fun. Do, do you guys play Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> um, what was it? Uh, Greg has exclusively taught me the old school way of playing Yu-Gi-Oh before Link monsters and stuff like that. Um, I, 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 I have made too many decks <laughs> um, playing with Greg. I, I just like, I, I have to stop. I have like 10 plus decks now and I think that's enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, welcome to my current file in... Oops, didn't disappear. Oh, no, there it is. Look at it. <laughs> look at it. Look at all the beavers. I think it's paused right now, so you can't see all the beavers. But look at the beavers. Oops. Look at them. They're so cute. I love them very dearly. They're, they're very cute beavers. <laughs> um, what was it? Uh, I... So yeah, this is my current setup. We got the housing, housing part link. It seems, I like seeing them use the campgrounds. I do too. It's so cute. Let me see if I can get them to use the campgrounds real quick. Um, yeah, look at it. Oh, <laughs> this brings me a lot of joy. I, I just, ha I'm just having a lot of fun 
looking at these little beavers and seeing what they're doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I um, did quite a bit of work. Um, it's not the most optimal, I would say. I, I'm still relying on my first dam to keep all the water intact. Keep, keep all the water intact. But I have been working on a second dam. As you can see, right over here, um, the problem is... My, my first thought process was, work them to death. <laughs> no, this is, this is the peaceful beavers. No, this is, this is Mrs. Myth, Mythical Mountain. If I end up playing the second beaver race, I'll, I'll probably drive them to the ground. But for, but for these beavers, they, they deserve a little, <laughs> they, they deserve some, some, some nice nonchalant. They, they've worked hard to build this up, you know? <laughs> uh, what was it? Uh, but yeah, no, um. So I've been working for most of my game so far. I've been trying to build this dam right here. Um, what was it? Uh, uh, and then uh, what was it? Uh, I I I I made this thing so that I can block the water and make more water here for the drought. But then I realized the water spills this way, and then it kind of just goes over here. So now I'm thinking, huh, maybe I should have a different, like, huh. Yeah, actually, you know what? I, I'm going to try something. The second beaver race plays differently, FYI. Oh, right, right, yeah. I um, I have heard they played a little differently. I heard instead of um breeding organically, they breed through breeding pods, which is pretty interesting. Anyhow, I am just going to try something real quick. I might reload the save, but I, I am... Morbidly curious at what happens if I do this. What happens if we do this? And then we, we, we fast forward a little bit. What's going to happen if I do this? Nothing so far. Nothing so far. Oh, okay. Now now something's happening. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> we, we gotta We gotta raise this first real quick. There we go. All right, now let's see how far this goes. L let's see if the dam water gets too filled. I'm actually really curious how this is gonna go, to be honest. Um, nope, that's just that's just gonna keep going. Apparently, there is no stopping this water. Nope, that's just gonna keep going. Oh no, the second district is about to be flooded. Oh, no, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I I would have to say we might have to make some adjustments. I think to this, it seems like I think the first order of business I have to block this off right here. I think um, because that that water is just gonna keep going. It doesn't stop at all. Wow, this is fun. <laughs> it's really when I made this entire thing, I did this like wow. This is this is a lot of fun. That's a Real quick, let's just reload that save. <laughs> okay, so here's my new goal now. This is what I'm going to try and work towards. I need to make the dam so that... So that... The water doesn't spill from behind. And it looks like the only way... I'm going to be able to do that to keep this water under check is that I need to actually go around here and I actually need to build a dam like probably like the same height as that actually like I'd have to build it like probably like here I would say that would make the most sense I think for me that that seems like what I would need to do and then I could just block it off here and then I could have a reservoir of water for over here and then also over here would just be grounded and that's fine we're not going to use this part of the water for now but um it looks like my next goal is i have to build something over here to block the water it looks like because if i don't then it's going to flood over here and we're not going to have enough room for anybody this over here is probably going to be i actually don't know how i'm going to expand this would be a fun place for a district. Um, you, you can see my brain working. <laughs> and, and and the thought bubbles um, inside my brain are um, conglomerating into something. 
Okay. I think I have a proper plan. The question is... I do have one of these, which I can distribute it to here. Um, I guess the second thing is, I do need to make paths for this. And that way I can make... Have it extend that way. Um... Yeah, we'll block it off over here, and then this will leak water over here. And, uh... Yeah. Seems reasonable. I guess the only other thing I am realizing now is... There has to be a point... I have to make a... I guess you call it a place for the water to escape to? And I guess that's something I haven't quite thought through all the way yet. Um, that is the only connection I have at the moment. I didn't thought this all the way through. Um, because the water is just going to keep going until... Hmm. I I'll have to think how I'm going to do that. But, um, maybe. Hmm. What, what do I have for water technology? I could take advantage of the water dump, maybe, and use it so that I can dump water. Discharges water. I guess I should kind of lock this now. I might end up needing this. So... What, so it can grab water. So it, how does it discharge its water? Is the only thing I'm not sure how. I actually don't quite understand how this thing works. What would happen if I put it over here? Hmm. As, as I discover how this works. Hmm. Because here's what I'm thinking. If I can manually just dump the water... Well... I guess the only other thing I should... I guess I... Well... Hmm. Well, now that I think about it... I'm only really going to use this... When... Well... I think what I might end up doing then, if that's the case, I might just build this, and then I build something over here, and then I can figure out what to do with this later, I think will be the plan. That, that could work. Um, hmm. Okay. I guess the only other problem is I might just have to get rid of this for now because I do have to build something over there. Okay, I have a plan. T took me a good five to ten minutes, but I think I have a plan now. So let's start by making a very long road this way. And then you can do this, and then you can do this, and then you can do this, and then you can do this. And we can see how far this stretches. Okay, so it does end over here, but it does give me enough wriggle room so that I can build a thing over here, which would be very helpful, I would say. Um, so that would mean I would have to probably start building stuff over here. I think makes the most sense. How far do I want to go, though? Um... I think if I do it, if I start here, let's, let's just do a what if scenario. If I do this, and I do this, and I do this, and then we do this, this, then that. That could probably stop the water from flowing the way it is. Probably, I would say, right? That would prevent the water from flooding over this way. 
And then for the water coming over here, I can have these floodgates and kind of have it equalize, I would say. Yeah, I think that makes the most sense. I think maybe. Hmm. Be honest, I wish you had these floodgates so that way I could like. Hmm. We will see. We'll see. It's like I might not even need these over here. We'll keep them there for now. I would say. Um, okay, let's try now to complete this. And now we have two things we need to build over here. Um, I do need to transfer some of my population from over here. And because I'm going to do that, I think now I'm going to need to... Let's see. Oh, this, this already doesn't have enough workers. I might have to prioritize this. Because we gotta make sure we have food. We gotta make sure we have food available. Well, actually, I think we just need one planter. I think it's fine, honestly. As long as we have one person doing the planting, I think it'll be fine. Um, now... I think what I'll end up doing You do need to get some workers transferred. Let's migrate population. No, we don't need automatic. How does this work? Manual. Oh, here we go. Manual. So let's... Let's... Where? Grab four. And let's, let's put it to play for now and keep things a little slowly for here. As now we try and manage this population. They are going to need food. So I have to take advantage of the these things. And we need drop off points over here. So that way, people don't starve. And then, let's make another pathway, like, but then let's also make the, I would say right here, and over here. But, uh, I also really like the voices, you know, like, like a little gibberish, like, uh, very fun, yes, okay. Got that, and uh, let's grab a district, district, district. Where are the districts? There's district gate. So we can separate the two. There we go. So now we have a whole separate district. Nice. And then we can just do a whoop. And then... I think we can branch it off from over here. Something like this. There. Okay, we need to figure out how how district stuff works. And we also need workers for that, it looks like. So we gotta We gotta make make some sacrifices, it seems. We have wow, we got a lot of food, honestly. Um, so that, that's good. We need, we need a surplus of food, honestly. Um, we don't have enough beavers, so unfortunately. I might have to cut back on some of the haul. This might, you know what, let's do this. We don't need that many haulers right now, so we're gonna just cut back to two haulers. And we're gonna transfer all those haulers 
into here. And then let's add a new root. Make that the drop off point. Okay, and then let's grab berries. Okay, so we need multiple different drop off points here, it looks like. So, um, okay. Okay, I'm starting to, I'm slowly figuring this out. We need to build. few of these, I would say. Like that. We could probably adjust the pathway so that's like this. And then I can just do this. Something like that I think would be nice. Okay. Alrighty. So we got a little few little drop point off points here. Um, okay, and then we can, like, build a new route over here, and this could be, we need a lot of logs, so let's do logs, and then this could be, um, carrots, and can one of them actually be water, actually? I'm actually not sure, let me see, um, can do water. How does that work? Oh, I guess it can carry water. We do, I think we are gonna need water, right? Are we gonna need water? Actually, you know what? We don't, I don't think we need water. No. We need food, and we need wood. We need food and wood. That, that is all we need, I think, for right now. If I need anything else, we can figure that out. But let's see how this works. Oh, look at that! They got the boxes! <laughs> They got the boxes on their backs. <laughs> and, uh, they're making the journey. <laughs> Look at them go. They're going on a journey. Look at them go. Oh, <laughs> that's fun. Okay, so they'll bring materials over there. Also, also we had to rename this. This needs to be a different name, I would say. Yeah, we're gonna call you Lo Nim Nim Lo Nimbus. There you go. Alrighty, we got ourselves another name for our or for our district. Nice, nice. Okay, let's see. Okay, alrighty. Do, 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 do. So they are bring stuff over there. It'll do a capacity of up to. 300. I wonder. We're, gonna, we're not going to touch that for now. I think that'll be fine. Um, and this farm has to support a lot of different. Oh, Kelwood. Kelwood has plenty of resources. I think we can do. We can, we can share the wealth a bit. Um, that will keep the people over here fed. It's very important. Um, we gotta make sure all the guys here are fed. Um, they're also gonna need houses, so I'll have to figure out where to put their housing district. Um, and then once they're all ready, once, once we got the beavers, population of Lumimus has a population of four. They do need beds. So I do need to figure out where I'm going to put their houses. Honestly, I feel like it makes the most sense to put their houses somewhere over here, right? Um, let's see, what to do for houses? Let's start with, with lodges. I'm going to do something like this, I think. Um, 
did that. Did that first. And then I want to kind of do a thing where I add a second lodge up here, which would be a lot of fun. And, uh, oh no, my beaver. <laughs> Hi, Greg. Hello. How's it going? Um, how's it going? How are you doing? How are things? Thank you for joining. How's, how's it going? <laughs> Yo, hello. <laughs> yes. Um, what was it? Uh, just let you know, going good. Oh, it's good. Yes, yes. Hmm, what was it? Uh, hmm. I, um, I don't know if you've ever seen Timberborn, Greg, but I have been playing this game for the last two days, and this is what I've been able to accomplish in about a day's work of work. <laughs> um, what was it, uh, so, um, I, uh, made this off stream. This is my first district, the, di the, the Kellawood district, full of my little good old beaver guys, like, they're, 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 they're they are right there, they're, they're. We're doing doing a farming over there. <laughs> yes. And um currently I am currently spending today's stream working on the second district over here, which um is a little barren. <laughs> Not no water near the area, but that's why we have the uh dis distribution center. So they can get all of their actually you know what? They are gonna need water. <laughs> I just realized they have to drink water. <laughs> So let me, um, a beaver needs water to live, so I actually do have to set up a new route for water now that I think about it. Uh, water. Okay, we're, we're gonna make sure they don't die first. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's been going good. Yes. And, uh, yeah, no, I, my, my goal right now is I'm trying to build a dam over here. Um, and I'm trying to make it so that way, like, I can make a little river, a lake over here. Um, but it's gonna take a little bit of work. <laughs> I, I am not quite there yet, unfortunately. So we are slowly making our way towards that. Um, the, this, these are our four beavers in the new frontier. Um, and they are get grabbing, they're just the, the, the food that they need. Yes, they, they, they need food to live. And now I have to wait for the water to come by, which, um, I, I, I hope the water is going to be delivered to them soon. Um, the good news is a drought hasn't happened yet, which, um, once it does, I'll have to actually panic a little bit and be like, uh-oh, how, how is this going to work? <laughs> um, I think for now, actually, we are going to make this a height of two, um, for now. And then we'll see, we'll see how, what will entail. Um, but yeah, no, what was it, um, yeah. if you couldn't tell, this game takes a little bit of my brain power, so I've been just talking about my plans in this game and being like, how am I gonna, also look at the campfire beavers, ah, very good, very cute, <laughs> ah, adorable, ah, we got like a, um, population of, uh, 34 right now in good old Kelwood. So, um, uh, things I would say are pretty prosperous, pretty good, pretty great. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Who is it, uh? Hmm. Oh, yeah, thank you for joining, Greg. It it's very nice to have you here. Hmm. Who is it, uh? I, I hope that I this, this will probably be a very chill stream tonight. I, I am most, mostly trying to, glad to be here. I'm glad. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hopefully, my goal by the end of the stream is I am hoping that I have built a successful reservoir. That is my goal today on stream. To build a successful reservoir. Yes. Hmm. Um, but for now, we just have to make sure we have enough water for everybody. That's the big thing. Um, also, let me just make sure my... Okay. So they are... They need homes. <laughs> And they, they need houses to sleep in, which is what this is going to accomplish. And, um, they're also going to need water very badly, which, um, hopefully the beaver that I decide to send out for water is going to bring water soon, hopefully. I hope you can bring water there, question mark. Um, worst case scenario. I am going to build a 
thing here just in case you actually need water to store it in. Um now where are the beavers? Uh, can't get all the required materials. Well, let's see. Well, that does explain it. I don't have wood at the moment <laughs> to give. So, hmm. Okay. Well, you know what? Who's in charge of building this district? I actually don't know. I think that I cut off the building with this mark, so this is going to be responsible to... Um, I'm leaving this in the responsible hands of the... Um, the 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 the, the low nimbus. Oh, here they come! Here comes the 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 the, the water delivers. The, the the beavers are not gonna die first today. <laughs> they they are going to thrive with water. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now they they all need water. Also, don't you need water? I guess you're good on water. Okay, you you're gonna need water soon. Okay, grab your drinks. Grab your moisture. Stay hydrated. Speaking of stay hydrated, I need to stay hydrated. And yeah, no. Look at that. Hmm. Okay. They they are doing some work, it looks like, which is really nice. Also, are they from Kelwood? Oh, they are from Kelwood. And they are kind of doing some of the work over here, which is nice of them. That's nice of them. Um, helping out their fellow man. It's like it reaches out here because of, um... Hmm. I don't know if I want to separate the... Nice. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. 100%. Um, maybe I'll separate the district over here. And then these water reservoirs could be in charge of, um... This could be the, t the, the property of the second district, maybe. I'm not entirely sure how I want to divvy up the responsibilities, but uh, for now, this is fine. They kind of need all the help they can get, unfortunately, so we'll, we'll have to see what we can do. Um, okay. So they're going to help out with building it. We're getting somewhere with that. Um, how, are, how are they doing? How are my beavers doing here? Um... They're doing good, looks like. Okay. That's fine. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. But yeah, no. When, um... Let me just... This also needs to be built. Also, I forgot. They actually do need to reach that in order to build off of it, so... Do they actually, can they actually reach that? Uh, they should be able to, and if not, I'm actually going to complete this path real quick just to make sure they can. I hope they can. Okay, they can. Okay, now they can. That's good. BRB. I need to turn the heater off. I am dying. Oh, yeah! Yes! Do, do not die of the heat. <laughs> yes, I, um, my computers in my room actually keep me very, um, warm, so I never really have to worry about- I'm glad it's winter, honestly. <laughs> Because I don't, I can't imagine how um, what's the word uh, hot it'd be during the summer, but um, yeah, no, turn off that heater, yes. Um, they have plenty of carrots now, so the carrots are good, and they have plenty of water, so they're no longer gonna die of any of that. Um, they are in desperate need of some wood though, and unfortunately, we don't have a lot of wood to offer. Us. My next goal, I think, is I need to build another forester in this area, I think. I think that is the next call, I would say. Um, let's, if we're going to do that, then, where are all the beaver waifus at? <laughs> yeah, it's funny. They they don't really have, well, <laughs> they, um, they're all, I'm assuming they don't take gender into account in this game because they're all, 
they're all either old beavers or, or young beavers. There, there's no distinction of gender. But they do breed. So... <laughs> I, I mean, they do procreate, <laughs> so I don't really understand how that happens, but, yeah. Um, what was it, uh, oh, I grabbed grab the star, good job, <laughs> yes. What was it, uh, you know, I think it's really, th this part is so cute, how you can build these little, like, jungle houses. Jungle, jungle big tree houses, basically, and they all, like, all bridges, and they can all walk up and down, it's really cute. It's very adorable. Um, what was it? Uh, what was I talking? What was I doing? I need to build a forester here, I think. Because uh, this one only reaches up to here. This one, I probably need to build it over. Let's build one over here, I'd say. Or I could build one over here. No, there's no water up there. Bad idea. So let's instead take full advantage of the the space i would say and build one over here we're gonna build over there we're gonna give priority to this so that would be good to have and then we can kind of divvy up the the um also how far does this go okay we're actually gonna move that i think now i think it's about time for me i move this so we're gonna finally I'm, I'm finally remembering to delete these two, so that way I can move these gathering points over da, 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 here. So now, now they should be able to grab all the berries in this area, which is very nice. Okay, that is just dandy. Okay, and uh, I'm also going to fill out these last two spots with carrots. There we go. Okay, so that's good. This is going to be built eventually. The problem is I need more wood. There we go. Okay. Because I am realizing wood is a very important resource. <laughs> and um, I am in desperate need of wood at all times. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is building a thing over here. So that way we can have more wood. Um, I'm also really worried about my food infrastructure. Because I have a lot of food built up. But... I know I'm going to need more eventually if I'm going to support a second whole district. So, um, we're going to have to figure that part out as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just thinking, thinking, think, thinking for a moment. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. Alrighty. I, the drought's going to be coming very soon, and that's the part I'm the most worried about, unfortunately. <laughs> that, that is something I'm going to have to worry about in a little bit. Um, but once this is fit, done finishing, we prioritize tree building. Um, that should be almost done. It just needs more wood. We don't have enough of it. We really need more wood. Okay. Hmm. Alrighty. Thinking to myself. We got. We still need to build more science. We don't have a lot of science at the moment. But uh, we are bringing resources, which is important. And the good news is. Is that they are. Maybe I should just make a circle. Maybe. That's what I'm thinking, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna redo these paths real quick. So we're just gonna do this, this, and then we're going to just... That looks better, I think. Yeah. A little more streamlined, a little more better. Um... Hmm. I want to 
long it's going to take to build this forester. We have the planks already, which is good. Um, we've been getting a little bit of wood from um, these trees. Could finally get rid of these trees, which honestly, that is something I might do. I might finally get rid of those last few trees, I think. I think I need to, to use them. That sounds like a plan. Okay. We're going to get this part ready here, and we're going to build these up. I do need more beavers, I think. But I'm worried about building more beavers because I I might need more food to support the beavers. Um, I haven't built the, the last tier of housing yet. Um, because I haven't had enough science points for starters, but it might be useful to grab that. So. I'm also wondering, actually... Yeah, we're going to have to get more beavers, I think. And if that's the case... How would I want to do this, actually? How... How would I want to... Could I actually line it up? Huh. Thinking. I'm thinking real hard <laughs> about maybe I could do something really, 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 um... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, extravagant. But, um, I think if I do this... It actually does line up pretty good with that. If I have... If I build a bridge, like, there, would that actually, like, line up this way? Like... I do this, and then I just build a path, like, here? Okay, so first of all, that bridge is too high up, I think. Um, will you wage war with other beaver colonies? Um, actually, this game is actually not, um, very war-based, honestly, because, um, what was it, uh... You're actually the only faction in this game. This is less so a game against beavers? And more so a, a game against nature. Like, your your enemy's nature, basically. Because, um... Once every 12, 15 days, this river source, which starts at this end of the river right here, it stops. And once the water stops, then you lose the water. And then, when you don't have water, then you will die. So that's why you have to build dams to keep the water from escaping. And you also have to store the water in these barrels so that you can survive the droughts. And if you don't have water, you can't water your crops. So that's where all your food goes down the drain. <laughs> basically, you're, you're at a war against nature. And, and survival of the fittest, basically, is um, the name of this game. <laughs> um, but you haven't seen it yet because we haven't had any droughts yet. But it's coming soon. I can feel it. You can, you can see it up here. That on um, the top right corner that we're almost at day 12. Of, of, the, of the cycle nine so yeah so that's kind of what we're dealing with at the moment this is very tight because i'm realizing if i want to do this plan i have i'm gonna have to sacrifice a little space over here that's fine we can do that i guess that's all right <laughs> right this game's a bit more laid back um, what was it, uh, there really isn't any, like, war you have to fight. It's more so you have to fight the, 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 be the, the, the nature and stuff like that. You gotta, you gotta fry it. Also, I need to get the level one. It's like, um, which we're gonna have to do now. Now I have that, and I can do this. And then, do I need to build paths over here, or is that all set? I hope. I hope that's all set. That would be really fun if I can build this. <laughs> if you can see what I'm doing, right now, I'm trying to build this really convoluted treehouse where it just goes all the way up there. <laughs> Th that's right, Greg. Who, who needs nature? <laughs> um, <laughs> exactly. Yes. Um... Hey, I think I built something really cool. We need more beavers, so we have to do that. 
Though, however, we do need more farmland, which I am running short of. I might have to build another farm over here, actually. That might be the plan. That might that might be what I end up doing. Um, I could get rid of these dandelions. Yeah. Become super industrialized, pollute the environment, and make lots of money. Essentially, yes. <laughs> we are capitalistic beavers at the moment. <laughs> 100%. That that is essentially the goal of this game, and um, you 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 keep doing it until all your beavers die, basically. Um, which hopefully my beavers won't die. I think I've got huzzah, <laughs> huzzah for cap. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Um. Yeah. No. I'm. This is like my favorite part, honestly, of this game so far. Is like making these little advanced tree houses. <laughs> That, that's been a lot of fun, honestly. Um, we do really need, um... Oh, it doesn't even reach that far. Oh, no. I need to go a little further, actually. Um, okay, then. We're gonna have to do that. We're gonna have to build one more flag, I'd say. We're gonna pause these, then. We don't need these. We don't need this. We don't need that. Um... Then let me grab lumber. There now there we go. Now that's a that's that's a spot for a lumberjack flag. There you go. Um and then we'll get that handle itself. And um I am noticing we're not getting a good surplus of water at the moment, which is not good. Is it because I am transferring a lot of my water over here? If I remember correctly. Let's limit this to, yeah, a hundred, I think, is enough. We don't want any more water than that, honestly. Because uh, we are spreading our, we might need to make, you know what? I'm actually going to make another um pump, because I think we are going to need a little bit more water. Oops, I can't do that, actually. Um, well... We could do it if I do this. I just have to reconfigure my roads to go around this way. And then all we got to do is delete the excess roads like that. And then we fit in the water pump over here like so. Okay. And there we go. We have a we have preferred water pump. We got to make that a high priority. And then we'll make that a high priority workplace. And there we go. Okay. Let's speed this process up now, I would say. I think we're at a point where we can speed up this process. Oh also, we have techno we have we have water mill technology or beaver technology <laughs> or beaver power or water power to fuel our uh factories basically. <laughs> I'm not even like that far deep into the the, the the industrial part of it yet. I've been just trying to work on the dams. We we need we need more water in this area so we can survive the drought. Um, right on. Yes. Actually, you know what? Once the drought starts, I'll actually test out my water theory, and hoping that it won't drown anybody. <laughs> um, we're, we're I'll I'll save before I do it once the drought starts. But um, okay, we're starting to get some, some full water now, which is nice. I was a little worried for a second. Um, is this fill? It's about full. Yeah. Feels about right. Yeah, no. It's a little concerning that this is empty, honestly. Because I don't know if these six barrels are going to be enough water. I'll have to check this out more later because I'm not. Because I am super exhausted. But I'm going to lurk because I'm going to get ready for bed. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Yes, I um, I I hope that um, uh, my my stream is very chill to listen to as you go to sleep. <laughs> um, have a good night, Greg. Thank you. Thank you for lurking. Thank you for being here. And um, I will talk to you later. I uh, have a good one. Nighty night. Yes. Nighty night. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. What is it um? Yeah, I don't know. We are, we are getting some water in here actually, which is good. And 
and um we do need a lot more wood and unfortunately we haven't had enough wood to play around with unfortunately but um hopefully hopefully we can make this work soon <sighs> okay let's see I don't have any more wood. I think I'm going to pause these for now because we really don't need that. So we'll make do that as we wait for our trees to grow. And we gotta get this up and running and we need more logs. That is not enough. We're gonna change that real quick. So that we do have available workers, so that we can start cutting down the trees. There. Huh. Okay, now that we have some wood, should be able to actually make some progress. Some progress up in here, which will be really good. Yes. Alrighty, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, wow, we already have all the planks we need, apparently. We are grabbing some logs, which is good. So hopefully we'll be able to start the construction of some of these very soon. I'm really lucky that the um, droughts haven't been happening yet. That is definitely something I have to be careful of. But I will be able to test out my new floodgate, I would say, when the drought starts. What I'll probably end up doing is... I guess the one thing I am worried about is... Like... Well, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. We'll have these over here. And um, those can be very helpful. Oh, there comes a drought. <laughs> that, that is the drought alert. We are about to enter a drought soon. Um, Okay. Now, now it's a race against time now. To fill up all this water. <laughs> um, we are also got to worry about the beavers that are over here. Make sure they are they're all water filled as well. Okay, we got we got that last pump. So that will hopefully keep everything afloat and and working, I would say. Okay. Alright, we got that working for us. What are the priorities for building right now? Oh yeah, let me actually real quick put this on. Actually, we'll do that to only work on this when we actually have time to. Yeah, like that. There we go. That that feels good. Okay. Uh, and from there, we can try and build these things, which would be good. As we get more logs, hopefully this will become complete very soon. Okay. Hmm. It also has water in it, which is nice. Look at that. Owls are building their little houses now. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Okay, we're, we're making a little bit of progress, which is nice. There we go. Yeah, he's got houses now. Look at that. <laughs> you guys are no longer homeless. <laughs> yes. Oh no. Well, you'll, you'll get to have your home soon. <laughs> soon, soon, soon. 
Oh, the trees are harvesting. Yes. Okay. The trees are being harvested now. So that we should have... We should have these built pretty soon now, it looks like. Yeah, no, this is exciting. Yeah, now we're getting a lot of trees. It's nice. We are getting a lot of wheat now, which is nice. Um, we don't have any workers to spare at the moment, but once we do have workers to spare, we can figure out um, how to get that a work and just need one more log. And also the drought's coming. So actually, I'm going to save the game real quick. Uh, water. Game. Yes. Okay. We're going to save that. And now, let's give this a test run, shall we? Uh, let's... Do that or this? Like this. Let's see how that functions. The drought has started, so the water is going to stop flowing now. And the. Uh... Okay. So actually. This gives me some water to play with now, which is very interesting. Okay. If I, if I stop it, like, right when the drought starts, it does give me this little bit amount of water to play around with. Um, so if I need it, I can always um, let down the, the, the hatches, so to speak. So we have, we have water to play around with. Okay, that's fascinating. Also, we do have a lot of water, so I am going to shut off the pumps because we got to survive eight days of drought. That That's going to be um, hectic, but um, you know, it might be nice. I might actually build something over here, so that way we do have, um, so that way we have a, um, what are you going to call it, a little, uh, like a little thing over there, maybe. Huh. It might be nice to actually make this higher, so that way, um, I have ideas, honestly, and that might be a fun idea to do, but before we do that, let's try and survive the, uh, let's survive the, the day first, I would say. Yeah, we need to build these first, which, um, we don't have... That needs planks, which unfortunately we do not have at the moment. Um, oh yeah, so you you're focused over there. So whatever would you get, you're gonna be working on this um, damn part, which is nice. Um, okay, how's the water? Doing? We still have a, a lot of water to play around. Um, this is, yeah, no, this is really cool. I have like a little reservoir of water here, which is really nice. Um, and sure it's drying up, but, um, what was it? Uh, I, I can just, um, I think I could act. We'll just let this, we're gonna... Let this sit for a little bit. We'll wait till this gets around the hundreds. And then I'll... Pump up the water back up again. So here's what I'll do. I'll wait for the water to get low. And then once it gets low, I will pump this back up. And then when the time is right, I will let go the floodgates and see how that fills the water back up. That would be fun. Um... Yeah. Huh. Yeah, no. The water is slowly ticking down. 
I'm not even using any of the, um, whatchamacallit, the, uh, not even use the pumps and the wires, already at like a 14. So when it's ready, I will, I could do it where I just let down one of these. So that way, like, um, I could unsynchronize it so I can let the water come out a little bit. Let's do another save real quick. This one will be called Water Distribution. Okay, now that I have the, the save, the power of save on my side, what happens when I drop it down? Let me bring it back up. How high did I drive? Right up a little bit. Okay. So, if I want to just give it a little bit of water. Just a little bit of water. Like, let's just do that for now. And does that rise the water? It does not. So then, let's do all the way and see what happens. As we let the water drain a bit. We are increasing the water a little bit. The water is flowing. As long as it doesn't go up to one, we'll be fine. But that's actually kind of cool. You can kind of control it, which is really fascinating. A little bit of minute control. So you can bring the water up to like it's a good level i'd say um bring it back up to four and then let's like bring it back up here so we don't waste it all and then we can synchronize it again for later and then uh there yeah look at that and then um we are starting to get a little lower on water so i am going to pump back the water pumps again just so that we can uh, keep the water afloat here. Actually, we don't need all the pumps. Let's just do two of the pumps for now. We'll just use these two pumps to keep the water flow going. And uh, actually, really fun. <laughs> it's actually coming together, which is really fun. This this works as kind of intended. Really cool. <laughs> wow. Okay. We got something here now. Um, yeah, and, like, the, the beavers here are doing just fine. They they have a population of six, two, two children and four adults, which is nice. They are, um, they're slowly becoming their own species. And, um, yeah, no. Sweet. Oh, yeah, we have a forester now, too. So that means we can start to... How's the water level going? Yeah, we have plenty of water. Oh yeah, we, we used up... So this water is all gone now. But we still have plenty of water over here, which is great. Wow. Yeah, I know. This is great. We can we can survive eight days in the drought pretty seamlessly. Um, I would say that it would be a lot better if we can start to fill this up. Like, we, we fill this up. And then we can have a lot more water saved. Actually, you know what? What would be really cool is... Ooh, what if I, like, add floodgates over here? So that way, when, um... When it comes about time to fill this up, we can kind of keep this, like, its own thing. Which would be really cool. Oh, I have, I have, a, I have some ideas of brewing, which is really fun. <laughs> That'd be a lot of fun. But before I do that, I have to make some adjustments over here, it looks like. Um, yeah, I'll have to make some adjustments to that, I think. But we can survive the drought, which is amazing. 
Um, and we still have a pretty good amount of water to work with. Like, it's not- it's pretty good, actually. Huh. Yeah, no, we've got plenty of carrots, plenty of food, plenty of berries. It's just great. Huh. Okay. All coming together. Let's see. Hmm. We do have some planks, which is nice. Oh, we, yeah, we, this is finished now. So now we can just see housing. How many vacant beds? We have two. So we are building up our beaver community. This is great. We're getting ourselves a system down pat, which is really nice. It would be really nice if we could, like, secure this. Because, like, we could have it so that way we build up a lake, basically, over here. Not. I think that would be really cool. Um, here's what I'm thinking. We want this to flow. We want water to flow out through here. So if water flows out through here, then the only other problem would be is where the water over here would go. Like, it comes down this way. So I would imagine that, um, we block it off over here. Keep the water over here in check, basically. And then we can fill this up as need be. I think would be the plan moving forward. Yeah. Drought ended. Okay, well, I think... Yeah, let's drop all these back down. Because now we have to prepare for... Um, the water to return. As the water starts to flow back. Back from over there. Okay. Alrighty, we survived the drought. That's great. Yeah, no, let's, um... Yeah, let's, let's build more trees, I'd say. What is the range of this? Pretty good. So let me just... Also, what's the range of um, this? That's also pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Okay. So that means we're just going to do one of these. Well, Well, I can start doing that, and then I might make this the farm area. Might be a good farm area. Yeah, that feels good. We are getting more trees, honestly. So. The more trees, the merrier, I would say. Okay. They are starting to build this up, which is really cool. Um, and once they do that, we can figure out what to do over here. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see. 
need to focus for one second. I'm also going to put that pump back on. I wish I could see like the map of like how much we're going. That's the only thing I'm not entirely sure of. Hmm. Uh, this little area is starting to prosper really well. Four workers and two unemployed. I probably should... Actually, can I like build one here? I have an idea. Me build a load here. No, I can't. I don't have that dang it. Okay. I think that would be worth it, actually. We just get rid of these roads. And then we can have, um, we can start to build these things. And then... That'd be good. Okay. The one thing I do actually need to comply with is I actually do need to make one more route for planks as well. Like that. Okay. So now this can have planks and wood, which is good. I'm kind of hungry. Uh, we, we have plenty of food. What the? What happened to all of our food? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, 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 it was just the, the second district. Yes, little Nimbus does not have nearly as much food, but uh, all the food is over here. We are, I would say we are dipping a bit in our food supply a bit. We do have a lot of wheat, though, so I think it is about time we brought back this division. No available workers, unfortunately. That's okay. We'll, we'll get more workers soon. When, once the once the younglings grow up, so we'll just keep that open for now until we get more people. Stuff. I think that will be good. Um. And yeah, they're they're slowly building the thing, which is really nice. Once we build that, that'll be really good to have. And actually, I am gonna finally invest into this, I think. We do need a bit more we do I do want to start grabbing scrap metal. Um, but I guess before I even do that, let me build a a storage unit here. Actually, we only should also build here. We actually should. Oh, it's already did. Nice. That's sweet. Okay. So that's all said. Let me actually now build. We need more people, though, I think, before we actually can invest into that. Hmm. Well, I guess for now, let's just find a spot of where we'll put the warehouse for that. Um, probably a large storage. I'm probably going to put it over here. 
and then we can build a halfway and have it kind of go like um over here like that and then we can build the flags for this over here we are going to need more housing so i am going to figure out the idea for my new jungle treehouse <laughs> Um, let's see, let's see. I kind of want to do this. Like, I want to build you up here. And then I want to build many, many ones over here. That can hold six. And then you can do the same thing for this. Yeah. And then, um, how would I go about making it so let's see I think we need one over here I have to build one over here I think we have to do something like we need this 